One of the questions that I get asked often is what should I have for lunch? So today I'm going to share with you guys a five easy keto lunch recipes. These are all recipes that only take a few minutes to put together. Some of them can be made up ahead of time and you can serve them either hot or cold. So let's get started. The first recipe that we're gonna make is a sandwich because that's just like the quintessential lunch option is a sandwich. And yes, you still can have sandwiches on the keto diet. So I'm gonna be using a Wonder Bread chaffle recipe that I have on my website. This is like my go-to sandwich bread if I'm trying to have like a keto sandwich. It's very easy to make. You can make it up just like right before you head out the door to go to work, or you can make up a big batch ahead of time too. I know some people will do this. They'll keep them in the refrigerator. Some people actually even freeze them. I haven't tried freezing them, but I guess you can freeze them. Um, and then just pull them out when you wanna make a sandwich. Um, you could either heat it up in the toaster or in the microwave for a few seconds. To make the Wonder Bread chaffle, in a small bowl, we're gonna add two egg whites, two tablespoons of almond flour, one tablespoon of avocado mayo, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of water, and a pinch of salt. You wanna mix it together until it's combined, and then we're gonna pour half of the batter into our preheated waffle maker. You wanna let it cook for a few minutes just until it's set, and then remove it and add in the remaining batter. So this is a recipe that will make just like two chaffles for your sandwich. If you wanna make up more, then you could either double, triple, or quadruple the recipe. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make an easy keto soup recipe for lunch. This is a coconut curry soup that we're gonna be making in my latest kitchen appliance obsession, which is my almond cow. Almond cow is a plant-based milk maker that you can turn any nut or seed into milk in a matter of minutes. There's no need for any straining or soaking of the nuts and seeds, and it doesn't take any fillers either. And since you are making it yourself and just using your raw seeds and your water, you know exactly what's going into it and just contains two simple ingredients, your nuts and your water. Almond Cow is also a zero waste company. Every almond cow that's purchased prevents about 500 of those cartons from like almond milk or macadamia nut milk from going into the landfills or the oceans. Plus, you don't even have to get rid of the extra pulp that's left over from making your almond milk. You could actually use that and repurpose it. They have a ton of different recipes on their website, so you could check it out and like use that pulp in your recipe. Like today, I've made a delicious avocado strawberry smoothie using the leftover pulp from my almond milk. You can also use your almond cow to make soup, which is what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna show you how to make that coconut curry soup. Start by placing one cup of coconut shreds, a half a teaspoon of curry, a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and a half a teaspoon of ginger powder along with a little bit of salt and pepper for taste. Attach the filter basket to the top of the almond cow and twist it to secure. Next, we're gonna add in some chicken broth until it reaches the 500 milliliter mark on the collector cup. We're gonna plug in our almond cow and press the start button. When the green light stops flashing, your coconut curry soup is ready. I like to garnish mine with some cilantro, a little drizzle of olive oil, and some chicken just for some protein. A big thanks to Almond Cow for sponsoring this video and just showing you guys a new way that you can enjoy nut milks. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these almond cows, I'll have the link down below in the description box, and you can save $15 off your order if you use my code KETOFOCUS. 
Our next recipe is gonna be that viral trend that you guys are seeing all over the internet, whether it's TikTok or Instagram, all these people are making this tortilla sandwich. It's cheesy and filled with whatever you wanna put in it. So let's make that. For this, I'm gonna use a low carb tortilla. Now this one does contain gluten, so if you wanna go the gluten-free route, then maybe get those like flat discs of cheese that you could find in the grocery store. They even make like an egg version of it, like an egg, it's, made, it's like a tortilla made out of eggs that I've seen in some grocery stores too. You wanna to start by just cutting a slit down the middle of your tortilla. Don't go all the way down, you're just gonna stop until you get to the halfway mark. And this separates it into quadrants. So on one quadrant, we're gonna lay down some salami. And then the next one, I have some cooked bacon. And after that, I'm gonna add in some provolone cheese and then some tomatoes. And for a little bit of flavor, I like to add some Dijon mustard. Then we fold each quadrant over each other. And then I'm gonna fry this in a frying pan with just a little bit of avocado oil and some butter that I've put on top of it. A lot of people use a panini maker or one of those George Foreman grills to do this. That works a little bit better, but a skillet works just fine too. thing about these tortilla sandwiches is that you could put anything in there. I've seen people make a breakfast version with some scrambled eggs and bacon and cheese and some salsa. There's even dessert options too that are fun to make. Up next, I wanna show you guys my go-to keto lunch option when I have zero time to make lunch in the morning and I have to head off to work. Everything is just thrown together in one glass container that I take with me when I go off to work. For this, you're gonna need a pouch of cauliflower rice and I'll have some linked down below of my favorites and then a can of tuna fish and a couple tablespoons of avocado mayo. You're gonna mix everything together into the bowl, and then I like to add a couple slices of avocado on top of that, just to add a little bit of fat into my meal, but that's it. It's super easy, and it's very, very tasty too. The next recipe I wanna show you guys how to make is a pasta. This is an avocado pesto pasta. To start with by making our avocado pesto, you're gonna need a food processor. So in here I'm adding two cups of basil leaves, one tablespoon of pine nuts, one clove of garlic, a quarter cup of olive oil, a third cup of water, Pulse this together until it's smooth and just lay it on top of your favorite low carb noodles, whether that's zucchini noodles or hearts of palm noodles. I like to add a little bit of uh, lemon juice on top of there or lemon zest too, just to add a little bit of kick. You could even add a sprinkling of some red pepper flakes. That's really good too. I even like to mix in some chicken, some shredded chicken, just to give it some protein. I hope you guys found these keto lunch ideas helpful. Let us know down in the comments if you have any other easy keto lunch ideas for us. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new recipe.